If you have just created your user account, you will find an example review under your name when you log into Epi Reviewer 4. This video will walk you through this example review to show you the many functions Epi Reviewer has to offer. You are free to explore and edit this example review to learn more about the program. When you log in, you will see your example review listed. Clicking on Go will take you to the home screen. The screen is divided into two panels, the Home panel and the Tools panel. Each of the panels have a number of tabs leading to different areas of the program. If you look in the Diagrams tab and load the Review Flow diagram, you can see what has taken place in this review. Creating diagrams such as this can help you keep track of what has taken place in your own review. Please note that even though this is an extremely small review, it is still effective as an example review. As shown in the diagram, 21 items were imported into the review. After one item was removed through duplicate checking, 20 items were screened on Title and Abstract. Eight items were identified as potentially relevant, and it was possible to retrieve full text documents for six of those items. Those six items were screened a second time based on their full text, and three were included. Two of those papers were from the same study and were linked, leaving two studies for data extraction. Those two papers were data extracted, and a number of reports were generated based on that data. If we look in the Sources tab, we can see that our 21 references were imported in two batches. Clicking on the Manage Sources button opens up the Add Source window. From here we can see and edit the details of our imports in the Manage Sources tab. In the Import New tab, you can import references into your review. Once the 21 items were imported, duplicate checking was carried out on those items. If you are in the Documents tab, you will see a number of icons across the top of the screen. Each one will lead you to a new function in the program. You can access the duplicate checking functions through the Manage Duplicates icon. The duplicate checking functions will look through the items that you have imported and group similar items together into duplicate groups. The program can then examine these groups to mark items as duplicates based on a user-defined threshold, or you can examine them manually to make that determination. After duplicate checking, the items were screened using the exclusion criteria in the Screen on Title and Abstract code set. All of your coding tools are created in the Codes tab. You create your coding tools from scratch and can set them up however you wish. To code an item, you first select the item in the Documents tab to open up the Document Details window. In this window, the citation is on the right and your coding tools are on the left. The codes in the Screen on Title and Abstract code set have been set up with checkboxes so you can select the appropriate code for each item. You can move through the items using the Next and Previous buttons. Once you've applied codes to the items, you can identify which items that will move forward in the process by running a frequency report. This can be done in the Frequency tab or by right-clicking the code set and selecting Display Included Item Frequencies. As you can see, eight items have the code Include Based on Title and Abstract and can be listed by clicking on Go. This example review is very small and only has one reviewer in it, so managing which items should be coded by which reviewer is not an issue. In a larger review, managing this process is very important. In a larger review, you will want to create an allocation code set to manage the items that will be allocated to different individuals. In the allocation code set, codes are used to identify which items will make up the different coding assignments. These coding or work assignments are created in the Collaborate tab. A work assignment is created by letting the system know what items you want to code. These are identified in the allocation code set the code set you want to use while coding, in this case the screen on title and abstract code set, and the individual assigned the work. When you create a work assignment, the system will keep track of the items you have worked on and will let you know which items you still need to look at. In the situation where you have multiple reviewers in your review and are carrying out multiple data entry or double coding, creating work assignments to keep track of everything is very important. The next step in our review is to retrieve full text documents of the items that we use for full text screening. To help manage the full text retrieval of these items, a retrieval status code set has been created. All of the items were given the not in file code, and as the item was processed, the code was changed accordingly. You can see the items with the in file code by right clicking that code and selecting list items with this code. The full text documents can be uploaded in the Document Details window by clicking Upload and locating the retrieve file on your computer. Once it is uploaded, it can be viewed within Epi Reviewer by clicking View PDF. 
Screening on full report is the same as screening on title and abstract, except you use the screen on full report code set and you are looking at the full text document. After you've completed screening using the screen on full report code set, you can run a frequency report on this code set. Doing this, we can see that three items will move forward to data extraction. The data extraction code set has been set up as a number of different sections. Each section contains a number of related questions and each question contains a number of possible answers. The data extraction process is similar to screening as you answer the questions that make up the tool. This may involve providing textual answers that can be added to the info boxes. Data extraction might also involve the collection of numerical outcome data from the studies to include in a statistical meta-analysis. To collect numeric outcome data, be sure that your code type is set for outcome. When the code type is set to outcome, you'll find an outcome button that will open the edit outcomes window. In this window, you can add and edit outcome data using different outcome types and organize them by different outcomes, interventions, and controls that you can predefine. Once you've extracted the data from your studies, there are a number of different ways you can query that extracted data. You can run searches based on codes applied in text from different areas. You can run cross-tab reports to create a matrix of answers. There are coding reports to give you full summaries of an item's coding based on the code set selected. Under Reports, in the Reports tab, you can construct detailed reports to present your data in many different ways. These reports can also be saved in many different formats. If you have collected numeric outcome data, it can be included in a statistical meta-analysis and be presented in forest and funnel plot diagrams. Finally, if you wish to create a new review to work in, you can do so in the My Info tab. Hopefully, this video, along with your example review, will help get you started in using EpiReviewer 4. For more information about EpiReviewer 4, please see our other videos or go to the EpiReviewer 4 Gateway. The web address is shown on the screen.